down and put it back, okay? But the reason is I can see, so I, so I know. So I hollow, I pull, okay? And then I choke. I have uh, actually was a ceramics major in college uh, about mm, 50 years ago. And um, so I'm just getting back to it. My husband was really into gardening and golfing and I didn't have much to do so my friends got me to come up here. My focus is on uh, diminutive teapots in porcelain and um, I also just use a little bit of an unorthodox method of working in clay and glazes. I like it because there's people that come from all over the region and are able to take classes from very prestigious instructors uh, in the middle of nowhere and have intensive um, attention from them day in and day out for five days and learn a ridiculous amount of information. Last year I said when Fong was here for the three potters that I wanted to take his class, uh, not just for his technique, but his personality was really special. Um, I like the casual atmosphere here. I'm just able to float in and out, you know, help the students, you know, whatever I can. Good kilns, uh, you know, a lot of wheels. And I've got actually quite a lot of uh, good assistance help. You, get, you can get it all laid out in, in about 16 sheets. That's all we need. It doesn't have to it be exact. It helps me as an artist and a person by being able to work under such amazing artists. It gives me a chance to spend eight hours or ten hours a day um, learning how to teach. And really thin pieces like this, all of this little thin stuff, um, is going to be covered right up with the glaze. He's a perfectionist. He pushes you to not be satisfied with less than correct form. He's really um, encouraged us to stretch. Well, I like to think technique is first. Then you can, then you can focus on the art uh, later. He really breaks down the process and starts with the basics, which being, I would say, an intermediate potter, it's been very, very good for me. I, I actually said it was my best workshop okay, When you ever press here. this wire, you're, you're, you're pressing the clay, you're not pulling the clay, okay? There are so certain what... aesthetics of proportion and shape and form that I think it was like a light went off in my head that, ah, oh, now I get it. The instructor and, and the students are not separated. Usually they're, they're together. And, they, and a lot of dialogue you know, gets engaged during that lunch break, during those breaks, and it's, and it's actually pretty healthy. Well, we actually call ourselves the barn rats. And, uh, we hang out a lot. We um, usually, when we do a workshop, we have a, a cocktail party at somebody's house with the artist. And it's my favorite place to be. And these are my favorite people to be with. I would just be cooking and canning all the vegetables my husband was doing, and, and that got old really quick. This past winter, because of the Bascom, I'd never been a potter before. I have my own little studio in Mount Dora, Florida. So this is something that I can do for myself that I really, really love.